good morning to everyone in previous class we have learned differences between business profession and employment the next topic in the first chapter that is classification of business activities this is the very important topic or concept for the examination point of view from this topic you may supposed to expect it like one marks questions two marks question and four marks question and they have some chances to ask for eight marks question let us learn more about the classification of business activity as well as this is a very interesting topic the business can be classified into two main categories or two broad categories namely industry and commerce in examination they may suppose to ask for one marks question state any one branches of business or state any one classification of business activity the answer is industry and commerce first we'll look up that the industry part in industry it can be classified further classified as a three categories first industry is primary industry second industry is secondary industry and third industry call it as tertiary industry in primary industry further classified as a extractive and genetic industry secondary industry can be classified as manufacturing industry and construction industry in manufacturing industry further classified as a four categories four types that is the first manufacturing industry is analytical industry second one synthetical industry and third manufacturing industry that is processing industry and fourth manufacturing industry that is assembling industry and there is no classification in construction industry this is the part of industry and coming to that commerce the commerce can be classified as two broad categories that is a trade and actuary is to trade actuary is to trade i will explain each and every type of industry or whatever that commerce categories or a types and coming to that trade can be classified as a internal trade and external trade internal trade can be classified as a wholesale trade and retail trade external trade can be classified as import export interport and actuals to trade can be classified as transportation warehousing insurance banking and finance and that advertising today in this class i am going to explaining to you all that is only the part of industry after explaining of that industry i will explain in detail the commerce part let us learn about that industry i already explained there are the three kinds of or three categories of the industries let us discuss or let us understand or let us learn more about the the different types of industries the industry first we should know suppose what is the meaning of industry or what is industry this you may suppose to expect it one marks or two marks in the examination what is industry industry refers to an economic activity which conversion of raw material into finished goods what it is industry industry is an economic activity you already known that why we calling as economic activity because any activity they have that object or they have that intention or they have that motto of earning of money in economic activity it focus to get return called money because they have to survive or for livelihood so that is the reason the industry also it is a economic activity the industry which involves conversion of raw material into finished goods 
the main activity or the main work or main the main duty of the industry what it is the industry will convert that raw material into finished goods the best example sugar cane is a raw material from the sugar cane we will get the finished goods is like a sugar it is called conversion of raw material into finished goods you can just look at that picture i have given that the example or i have show that the example for the industry this is meaning of industry next we'll learn that there are the three types of industry i already explained that is a primary industry secondary industry tertiary industry let us discuss one by one first one primary industry primary means the first industry this industry which includes all these activities which is are concerned with extraction and production of natural and reproduction development of living organism and plants etc that mean the primary industry which concentrated or they will get a raw material from that natural that mean nature whatever the raw material it is available they will get or they will extract from the nature what is the meaning of extract like a gold extract you already know that you very well know that in india there are the two gold extract extraction that mean one is kgf that is kolar gold field one more we have that raichur that is a hatti gold the name called hatti these two places we can extract that gold that mean the gold we can get from the nature that mean uh, not like a gold it is a raw material for the gold and and also it involves reproduction and development of living of the plant or organism etc that mean like a nursery and poultry farm fish hatchery this all that what they will do they are involved in reproducing reproducing of plant or reproducing of animals because after reproducing they are going to sell that product they will earn that money this is the primary industry in simple you can just understand they will extract that raw material from the nature they are involved in reproducing of the plants and animals in this extractive industry that mean in primary industry there are the two kinds are two types of industry one is extractive industry another one genetic industry what it is extractive industry extractive industry these industries extract that mean digging or they will get the raw material from the nature this is called extractive industry the best example farming mining hunting fishing etc these are the best examples for extractive industry in the picture if you just observe or if you just look at that they have that bulldozers they are extracting that mean they are digging digging by digging they getting raw material that mean it is a mining the best mining place is ballari in ballari they are extracting some valuable resources and one more example i have given agricultural that mean with the using of natural that mean nature they have given the land for us from that land we can crop some vegetable or fruits or flowers after that we are selling that flowers or vegetables we are earning that money it is called extractive industries second one genetic industry if you want to understand the genetic means they are involved in reproducing 
reproduction of plants and animals the according to that formal meaning these industries are engaged in breeding the plants and animals for their use in further reproduction that means they are involved reproduction of plants and animals like example cattle breeding farms poultry farms or nursery or even if that fish hatchery etc these all called genetic industries in the picture i have given this see that they have that poultry farm in poultry farm what they will do they will producing reproducing reproduction they are involved reproduction of hens and cow breeding cattle breeding sorry cattle breeding it is also that genetic industry the one more best example nursery what nursery that is plant nursery in a lal bag if you just observe or if you just visit to there they are going to uh, reproducing of plants that mean they are uh, they are putting that plants into nursery they are selling that the plants to a public in a way that they are earning that money it is called genetic industry and next one we have secondary industry we we have already learned that is primary industry the primary industry having a two types one is extractive industry another one genetic industry in the next class i'm going to explaining to you that is secondary industry and tertiary industry thank you my dear